In the pulsating heart of the cosmic majesty, in an act of grace and grandeur, beings of indomitable brilliance are born, entities of light, known to mortals as angels. Embedded in the essence of this universe, their existence resonates with the divine concert of the cosmos, participating in the perpetual dance of creation. Within this luminous angelic hierarchy, we find the powers, the sixth scale in the mystical celestial ladder outlined by the enigmatic pseudo-Dionysius Areopagite, whose thoughts and visions have illuminated the minds of the wise for centuries. The powers, a name that reverberates with the echo of their inescapable authority, are angels imbued with primordial power and transcendental wisdom. They are placed in the second sphere of the angelic hierarchy, a plane reserved for angels who work in the governance of the cosmos. The hierarchy is built with celestial harmony, with the seraphim, cherubim, and thrones in the first sphere, the dominations, virtues, and powers in the second, and the principalities, archangels, and angels in the third. Together with the dominations and virtues, they are a crucial bridge between the upper and lower spheres, uniting the divine will with earthly realization. Each choir has a specific role and the powers, also known as authorities, maintain the integrity of the boundary between the divine and earthly realms. They distribute and administer power among the other choirs of angels, and are a force that maintains and secures the cosmic order established by God. United to human beings by an invisible thread of divinity, they fulfill a mission. They are beings of transition and balance, custodians of the thresholds between the celestial and the earthly, between the spiritual and the material, and maintain the harmony between the two. The powers are also recognized for their role in the distribution and administration of divine power. According to Dionysius the Areopagite, they distribute divine graces to the lower choirs, and through them, to the human world. Thus, they act as conduits of divine will and authority, carrying out celestial decrees and maintaining cosmic order. In Jewish Kabbalah, this celestial hierarchy finds its place in the Sapphira of Gabura, associated with divine justice and restraint. As Gabura is concerned with maintaining the divine balance in the universe, and in their role as guardians of order, they can be seen as manifestations of this Sapphira. Thus, the mission of this hierarchy is revealed as one of great importance and responsibility. They ensure the stability of the spiritual and material worlds, act as channels for the divine will and play a vital role in maintaining balance in the universe. Their constant presence and tireless action reinforce harmony and order, both in heaven and on earth. But the true scope of their role and the depth of their power will only be revealed in the greatest challenges, at times when the universe itself is threatened. In the heavenly realm, where eternal peace reigned, a wave of discord arose, culminating in the heavenly war. The powers, whose essential role is to preserve the order and balance of the universe, found themselves at the center of this monumental conflict. The outbreak of the war was abrupt, when Lucifer, the morning star, defiant and proud, rebelled against God. Lucifer, dissatisfied with his position and poisoned by his arrogance, decided to challenge God's supremacy and put the divine order in check. They were drawn into the fray with the other angelic choirs loyal to God. Although accustomed to keeping the peace, they demonstrated great courage and steadfastness in battle. As guardians of cosmic order, they fought with determination to keep the sanctity of heaven intact and repel the forces of evil. The heavenly angels, their vital function as guardians of order, were on the front lines of the conflict. Their confrontation with the forces of evil would be one of cosmic magnitude, a struggle that would forever alter the very nature of the universe. The powers, radiant and armed with divine authority, found themselves in direct opposition to the rebellious angels, led by Lucifer, the ancient light who had chosen darkness. Each power represented a pillar of order and justice, a defense against chaos and dissension. The battle raged with unimaginable intensity. Light against darkness, order against chaos, loyalty against betrayal. The battle was fought on an inhospitable stage, where the fundamental principles of the universe seemed to be suspended as the conflict unfolded. The stars seemed to move at an uncertain pace, and the pillars of creation trembled at the clash of these monumental forces. At a climactic moment, a potestas, bright as the sun and firm as steel, confronted one of the fiercest of the rebellious angels. 
Sparks flew as their weapons clashed, and the force of their confrontation echoed across the heavens. Despite the challenge, the Potestas remained unwavering, their will and authority unaltered by the fervor of the conflict. Despite the challenges, the powers maintained their formation, their ranks bright and resolute amid battle. To each wave of the rebel forces, they responded with even greater resolve and strength. Their loyalty and duty to the divine will never waver. This cosmic struggle, though brutal, showed the true nature and great power of these celestial beings. In the face of disorder and rebellion, they stood firm, their unwavering determination a beacon of light amid conflict. This battle reinforced their role as guardians of celestial order, proving once again their courage and resilience in the face of the forces of evil. Finally, the rebellion was put down and Lucifer, along with his followers, was expelled from heaven. The struggle left a scar on heaven, but also a victory for the forces of good. After the tremendous heavenly war, the universe found a new normal. However, the imprint of this epic conflict extended beyond the heavens, reaching human reality. After the celestial war, their work did not end, but, in many respects, intensified. In the turbulent wake of this heavenly conflict, the powers worked tirelessly to repair the ravages of disorder and restore balance to creation. Throughout human history, this divine hierarchy has guided the moral and spiritual progress of nations, shaping the evolution of our societies. They have influenced the collective consciousness, helping human beings to discern right from wrong and fostering justice and equity. Their influence, though often subtle, has played a vital role in shaping the ethical and moral principles that govern our modern societies. Throughout the vastness of time and space, the influence of the powers has been felt in every corner of the cosmos, and especially in the realm of humanity.